Yeah, this is the play seen around the sports world. You might remember this moment from back in September. Miami Dolphins quarterback Tua Tagovailoa was flat on the ground for 15 minutes after taking a major hit. It was his second one in a week, and he was showing obvious signs of a serious concussion. Well, on social media, the responses were visceral. A lot of parents said they would never let their kids play this sport. Our Evan Koslov spoke with parents and went through the numbers to verify whether the number of youth football players is on the decline. Flag football is becoming a big deal in Northern Virginia. 423 on one. Ready, break. Just a few years ago, the Loudoun County NFL Flag Football League had about 300 kids. Now it's ballooned to over 800. Stay in bound, stay in bound. Ed McPike is the team coach. They're learning more about football. They're being social at the same time while getting exercise, you know, so. I love seeing it. And the laugh, you hear the laughing. <laughs> even when they're, you know, even when they make a bad play, they might goof off and say, next time. And this is the appeal for some, a non-contact wow. alternative Psych. to tackle football, a sport which is seeing its numbers drop among young players. Yes. According to a survey by the National Federation of State High School Associations, the number of teens playing high school football fell by almost 11% between 2011 and 2021. These numbers are also reflected locally. Uh. Uh. Meanwhile, over at the Junior Tennis Champion Center in College Park, they're seeing their numbers grow. And for many of these parents, tackle football was a non-starter. Frankly, no. Sorry, I can't. That was never going to happen for him. I just didn't uh, think it would fit for my kid. It was never in the cards for either of my children. It was never an option. Milena Golova was against tackle even as her son Nicola became increasingly interested. She said it's too dangerous and that she'll never ever let me play, no matter even if it's flag football. He never understood why and later on we told him that in a way flag football is the first step if he likes it too much and if he sees he's too good, he will be asking to go. It's a gateway drug. <laughs> it's a gateway, exactly. <laughs> but youth football leagues are adapting. Our kids now know how to play and we know how to teach it. Todd Casey is the commissioner for the Vienna Youth Football League and says that they used to have about 500 kids in the league. James Manny brought down. But that number dropped in half amid concussion concerns. It really forced youth football to take a inward look and to learn how to teach the game better. Casey says that there's now more training on proper tackling techniques. They've also started limiting the amount of hitting drills during practices, and it seems to be working. Casey says that enrollment is growing. What we've done is we really work to take the head out of the game. How we teach football now from when I was growing up is night and day different. Back in Ashburn, practice is wrapping up as the discussion turns to whether or not these kids see tackle football in their future or not. Injuries do happen, that's a risk of it, but then also good things can happen from it. I feel like I'll probably do it soon enough, but yeah, we'll just see how that goes. It's, it's hard as a parent, you don't want your child to get hurt, and so that's a big issue, of course, today, but I um, also want him to have opportunities and do what he loves. It's, he's very passionate about it. In Ashburn, One, two, three, friends. I'm Evan Kozloff, WUSA 9. Have a good couple nights. Again, hydrate.